Video files are huge, and in the era of 4K, 8K, RAW, and high frame rates, they're only getting bigger and bigger. On the other hand, solid state media has come a long way in terms of storage capacity and probably more importantly, cost. That's where SanDisk's new Pro Blade line of media comes in. Put simply, it takes the ultra fast NVMe solid state drives that are widely available on nearly every computer these days, like the ones behind me, and provides a robust magazine and data management system around it. This makes affordable solid state storage a reality for cameras that support external recording. Now here we have it attached to a Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera, which we'll demo in a bit, but let's take a look at what the ProBlade is first. So first off, ProBlade is more than an NVMe drive in an enclosure. Much more. In some respects, it's almost like a conversion for your camera's recording medium. External recording has been around for a little while now, but the ProBlades really take it to the next level. Let's work our way from camera to post. By the way, for those wondering, NVMe drives are a form of solid state storage, and in the last few years, they've become the drive of choice for desktop and laptop computers due to their extremely fast throughput. That speed is obviously necessary when you're shooting something like raw 4K footage, but the trick here is its broad availability, which makes it an extremely affordable option. So what do we have here? It begins with the Pro Blade Transport. This is essentially a small drive caddy that sits on the top of the camera, and it's about the size of a traditional 2.5 inch portable hard drive. Now this connects via USB-C, and it effectively becomes the camera's new card slot. Well, what do you put in this card slot? The ProBlade SSD mag, of course. This is the real storage right here. It's a dedicated enclosure for NVMe drives that is designed to fit into the transport. Now, I've got a one terabyte mag right here, and of course, compared to the cost of, say, CFast Media, which not these users, but Blackmagic Ursa users will know about, it's literally a quarter of the price. Pop the mag back into the transport, and it appears right away on the camera. You can double, triple, or even quadruple your storage with ease, and they pull out just like that. Now, the transport can simply stay attached to the mount, and there's no need to wear out the USB-C connection on the back by pulling the drive out entirely, like you would with a typical external SSD. Now, how do you get that footage over to a computer? Well, you can detach the transport and reconnect it to a computer, like in the back, but ideally, you want to avoid that and just leave this attached to the camera. This is an entire ecosystem, after all. So let's move over to the ProBlade station. The ProBlade Station is a four bay system that is way more than just a card reader. It connects to your host computer over a Thunderbolt 3 port, which is also compatible as a USB-C port, with a second port for Thunderbolt daisy chaining. The unit is powered by its own separate 100 watt USB-C cable, but we'll get to that later on. So to ingest the footage, you simply pop the mag into the station, much like you would with the transport, and it immediately pops up on your desktop. Now, thanks to the Thunderbolt 3 bandwidth and the NVMe read speeds, file transfers over this are ridiculously fast. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can use the ProBlade station. You can read from the four drives independently, which could be crucial when transferring from, say, multiple cameras that are offloading footage all at the same time. You could copy an entire four terabytes worth of data from one to another ProBlade mag in around 45 minutes, meaning you have a secondary backup of that data. And honestly, you can build an entire post-production workflow off of it. For example, you could even edit off one card as you ingest from another. The speed and simplicity of the ProBlade system are really something else. But what are some of the hard numbers behind it? What exactly makes it such a compelling ecosystem? NVMe storage is three things, reliable, cheap, and widely available. The low cost of solid state storage has been a real draw for external recording in general, but NVMe drives are especially accessible because of their huge established market in the PC space. This has brought the cost per gigabyte down dramatically in the last few years. This one terabyte mag that we have here gave us around 154 minutes of runtime in Q0 Blackmagic RAW, which is the highest quality option on the camera. At Q3, which is a little more compressed, this jumps to 409 minutes, and at Q5, it jumps to 612 minutes. When it comes to speed, read and write speeds on the mags can reach up to 2,000 megabytes a second on the transport, and up to 3,000 megabytes per second read speeds on the station. To put that into perspective, on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K we have here, even the highest quality Q0 recording mode tops out at around 203 megabytes a second, which is about a tenth of the maximum write speed of the mags. Even completely uncompressed 4K RAW is around 
406 megabytes a second, so still well within the right speeds here. That leaves reliability. NVMe drives are already robust in their own right, being designed for constant read and write use on computers, but in the case of the ProBlades, they come enclosed in a hard aluminum casing, very nice, promising a crush resistance of 4,000 pounds. Now, the connector on the end is protected with a plastic between the pins, unlike a bare drive, which also means it can withstand constant insertion and removal from camera to computer. And since the enclosure is asymmetrical, there's no risk of inserting the mag the wrong way. The front end of the mag is indented for an easy grip, so it's really never hard to remove it. Now, as for the ProBlade transport, let me just take this out, detach the cable. It is also constructed to withstand the rigors of production, but it manages to pack in an aluminum heat sink on the inside, keeping the mags cool as you record for extended periods of time. Now, you'll notice there are no mounting points on the ProBlade. Not that I can see anyway, nor is there at this time at least any dedicated mount accessory that perfectly fits around it. You'll also notice that we have instead rigged it out with a small rig universal power bank holder, which can adjust to the width of the transport. So it's a little bit bigger than an external SSD with dimensions of 5.13 inches by 2.82 inches by 0.63 inches or 130.3 by 71.63 by 16 millimeters. So just keep that in mind. I did try Small Rig's universal SSD holder just in case, which I do have right here, but it wasn't quite big enough to hold the transport. So let's talk about the USB-C connections. This is actually one of the coolest or at least most convenient things that SanDisk did with the ProBlade lineup. The transport comes with a USB-C cable that is labeled as a 20G cable, and it's even color-coded blue, which helps immensely when you're unsure if the USB-C cable you thought would work with your device doesn't. Similarly, on the ProBlade station, they provide you with a USB-C cable that is color-coded orange and labeled three to indicate that it is actually a Thunderbolt 3 compatible cable. Now, the dedicated 100 watt USB-C cable, that one's color-coded green and clearly indicates that it's capable of 100 watt power delivery. And it's the same on the connections on the back. Now, none of the devices come with locking mechanisms for the cables, though you can see here we have one on our Blackmagic camera. This is, of course, also from Small Rig. Lastly, let's look at the ProBlade station one more time. Built out of hard aluminum with an industrial design, it fits into an editing workstation perfectly. The front bays are covered by flaps that push back when you insert a drive, while the back keeps things simple two Thunderbolt 3 connections and one 100 watt power connection, all based on USB-C using the appropriate cables that we mentioned before. An active fan in the back keeps the unit cool while performing the insanely fast transfers this thing is capable of, though it idles pretty quietly. At 7.3 inches by 4.8 inches by 2 inches or 18.54 by 12.19 by 5.1 centimeters, it doesn't take up a lot of space on the desk and it should pack away very nicely when traveling as part of a kit. And that's really what this is. It's a kit for an entire system that can literally transform your camera and your editing workflow. The robustness and flexibility of the ProBlade line is honestly so impressive that I really wish this was the norm for many more cameras. There are more and more cameras capable of external recording and being able to take advantage of it like this with the removable mags and the NVMe speeds and the data management abilities of the station is just unmatched by any other external solution. So that's it for our time with the SanDisk ProBlade mags, transport, and station. Let us know how you would use it in your next project in the comments below. My name is Doug with BNH, and I'll see you next time.